Hi, I'm Jan Danielson, and I live in, <coughs> on my family's Century Farm in Southern Boone County. There is a 3,300 head hog confinement a half mile south of my home, and there's a 2,480 head confinement just three quarters of a mile west of my home. The owners of these hog factories do not live at the CAFO site or near them. However, my family and 20 neighbors do live near the Capos, and we're the ones that are suffering the consequences of those. That's why I'm involved with this project. We do not want these hog factories or any more Capos to be built in Boone County. In order to evaluate mineral management plans, our group requested the most recent full manure management plans for every facility that was listed in the DNR AFO database for the five counties from the DNR. <coughs> the database lists 325 facilities <coughs> with manure management plans for 2015, yet we only received 240 plans. We also received manure management plans for some that were not even listed in the database. And all of this information can be found in the two appendixes, A and B, in the case study. These significant discrepancies suggest that the DNR is not keeping accurate records on these environmentally hazardous facilities. How can your agency monitor where manure is applied if 92 manure management plans are missing in just five counties in Iowa? How many more are missing throughout the state then? Those of us living near confinements have had our concerns ignored, our quality of life and our property <coughs> values are diminished, and so be it. But you answer to all Iowans whose water is impaired and increasingly threatened by runoff and spills from these livestock confinements. How can Iowans trust that the DNR can effectively regulate them when it appears you can't even effectively record them? Next, I'd like to invite Stacy Hartman to come and address the incompleteness and insufficiency in the manure management plans of the